Greetings. This is Arvette McLean of Speak the Universe Listens. your thoughts, change your life. Step into the bigness of you. Entering into the year 2021. Yes, yes, 2021. And I am looking forward to a brand new year. Um, we don't know exactly how it's going to pan out because <laughs> last year was a interesting yeah, one. Quite interesting. <laughs> and so I'm thinking it can only go up from here. <laughs> but today we want to talk about closing the gap between where you are and where you'd love to be. And so go ahead and pull out a piece of paper and pencil because um, we're going to do like a little exercise a little bit later in the show. So welcome, Stephen. Hey, how are you? I'm terrific. <laughs> good, good. You good. glad to be in the new year? Ah, yes, yes. <laughs> 2020 has been quite an uh, interesting year. Yes, very interesting. For me, it was like a, a time to just grow. It really was. I mean, you got to think on with the pandemic going on. A lot of people are at home. Mm -hmm. And so uh, a lot of us have a lot of time to Mm self-reflect a little bit, you know, and just see what it is that we (laughs) can possibly work on Mm -hmm. on ourselves, uh, future goals. And um, so we had a lot of downtime to really uh, (laughs) think. Yes, yes. And, yeah, I I felt for me, I felt like um, I was able to get away and just be in solitude right. and just being in nature and it just seemed like it just allowed just so much to flow into me and through me. Um, I just felt like I was just getting all this inspiration and all these wonderful bits of, I don't know, like wonderful wisdom <laughs> was coming through me. <laughs> so talking about closing the gap between where we are and where we love to be and um, I know you were talking a little bit about how powerful and important it is that we have the right thinking right right if anything I would say um, especially coming from 2020 <laughs> and we going into 2021 um, our thoughts like how we think um, about ourselves and about our future you know what is it that we uh, want for ourselves uh, going forward you know and so with that thought process we really have to put ourselves in alignment with what it is that we really want mm-hmm. and so with all of this downtime that we had with the pandemic going on and you know, I think uh, this was the perfect time to sit back and just reflect mm-hmm. so for myself you know I noticed um, there was a lot of things that I wanted to uh, do for an upcoming year coming up but also working on it in the present moment as well um, as far as uh, success wise um, business wise health wise and so I would tell anybody um, with the thinking process 
whatever it is that you're thinking about that you want for yourself moving forward just make sure that you start applying the action to it now, of course you can do baby steps if you need if need to but also what you're thinking about don't think about the what ifs right don't think about okay well you know this is what I want but I got to go through X, Y, Z. And I, I mean, and it's human nature to just think like that. So uh, I would tell anybody, um, don't think of the what ifs. Think of, your, think of it as more like preparing yourself for the success. Because mm -hmm. when you prepare yourself for the success, all you're going to do is attract the success. Yeah. So I would say uh, that's one big thing of, uh, far as thinking wise yeah. moving forward. So that's so interesting because um, we actually have a mission statement and part of the mission statement is that we are um, redefining right. common thinking. Mm -hmm. And so talking about the what ifs, like when you were growing up or at least when I was growing up, that was what we were supposed to think about. Like well, what if this, what if that, and so that you're prepared for those things. And I remember reading um, something where it was like, if you're preparing for the failure, then that's where your mind is, on the failure. And so that particular weekend, I was um, supposed to be doing a 100-mile bike event. And that was my first time doing a 100-mile bike event. I mean, I had ridden 100 miles, but not in an event. Okay. And so um, I was like, oh, my goodness, I guess I need to take spare tires, you know, spare <laughs> inner tube. I got to get air pump right. and get all this on my bicycle. And I was like, I didn't even think about that. And so that was the same weekend that I read where there's like, if you're preparing for the what ifs, then you're preparing for failure. And I was like, huh. <laughs> you start thinking. Yeah, like, what, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to prepare in case I get a flat tire, <laughs> or am I supposed to prepare for pure success, right? right? And so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna roll with this. So I did not get the spare tire. I didn't do all that. I was like, I'm just gonna go out on faith okay. and believe that this is gonna be a smooth sailing event or whatever. So that was like really my first time um, just not being in prepared mode for okay. what could possibly happen. Gotcha, gotcha. I can say for myself, um, as far as like with my health wise, mm -hmm. right, I wanted to change the uh, change my diet. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and try this uh seven day uh vegan uh diet but instead of vegetarian you got I like the cheese. <laughs> but um I tried the diet and um seven days went through. I was doing good. And in my mind my whole thought process was, you know what, it can't be that hard, but what if I go to a restaurant with my friends? It's going to be hard because I'm surrounded by the things I'm trying to stay away from, you know? <laughs> and so, uh, of course, I made a hiccup because of the simple fact I was thinking about what I didn't want. And, of course, I went on ahead and you know, let me get that steak and potatoes. and. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I had to redo everything, and then when I redid it, right, uh, started my diet over, and then I was successful to go for a whole month. Mm -hmm. And those times as to where I was, I was thinking about, you know what, man, I do, I do want a burger. And I said, you know what, you know, you don't need no burger, <laughs> you know. So I tried to uh, change my thought process, mm -hmm. and like you said, just have faith. It's like. I just didn't even think about it, and I just start every day. I was just going about a regular routine of just like no meat, and it didn't even bother me no more. So, um, like when you said, just having faith in what it is that you know that you want, everything is going to just align. But you just got to get yourself aligned with just taking the actions, you know, thought process, and every day just doing it. And then you will see how things will start to fall in play for you, even for success-wise as well. Yeah, because we are powerful creators. And that's hey. something that a lot of times we don't feel comfortable with saying that because we think that's taking some power away from, like, right. we're saying we're God or, you know, something right. like that. But if we're doing something wrong, we're quick to say, I did that. Right? Very true. <laughs> but Very when we true. do something right, we don't give ourselves the same credit for it. Um, but we really are, we're powerful creators. We were gifted 
with the power to create. Mm -hmm. And so um, the whole thing with like changing, redefining common thinking is that we think that we're small and significant and don't have power, mm -hmm. but we really do. And so if we start, um, I mean, if you, you know, you go through the, you can go through any spiritual text, the Bible, the Quran, <laughs> you know, the Torah, whatever, you will see all through it where it say that we have been gifted the power to create our realities. Um, and so I think with um, changing, you know, like I'm saying, do I prepare for the bike? Uh -huh. Tired to go flat? <laughs> or do I create the situation right. where the tire doesn't go flat? You will want to create the situation <laughs> where it don't go flat. Yeah. You know? And I think we just, uh, a lot of the times, we're so worried about the, the we know what we want but we're worried about the obstacles that mm -hmm. we got to face and when you think about uh, the things that you have to face it's like okay you want to prepare yourself for the worst but when you're doing that you fail to realize what you think about you attract mm -hmm. so if you're thinking about you know what uh, what if things don't fall through the way that I want the way that I want them to you know what am I going to do? And then the first thing we say is, well, ah, I'm going to come up with plan B. Well, now that you got plan B, <laughs> you already prepared yourself for, mm -hmm. you know, for exactly. the words. <laughs> so, you know, in order to get out of that narrative of thinking, you just got to really sit back and say, you know what? I know. And, and it just, that's it. You know, I know and put it out there. And as soon as you put it out there, just start to do it. And before you know it, hey, things will start to, you know, you be like, you know, they started playing out the way that you really want them to, but you prepared yourself for the success. Mm -hmm. and you didn't prepare, prepare yourself for the failure, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And so uh, the gap between where we are and where we'd like to be, sometimes it can seem like it's a lot right. in that gap. But really the gap is an energetic gap. Mm -hmm. The gap is here. It's how we're perceiving the situation. It's how we're perceiving ourselves. And it's that, that energy field in the middle that right. we have to... We have to break it. <laughs> we have to like <laughs> change it. <laughs> change that energetic gap. And so exactly what you're saying about putting the energy on what you want. Mm -hmm. Seeing it, believing it as if it is now. Right. And so the thing about people humans, us, right. is we have the power to create any emotion that we want to create at any time. Sure. And emotion is the thing that causes things to move. Mm -hmm. Emotion is energy in motion. And so whatever our emotion is, that's what's causing energy right. to rearrange itself. And it rearranges to fit whatever our emotion is. And so if we are in doubt, self-doubt, if we're in, you know, have limiting beliefs, et cetera, mm -hmm. then the energy arranges itself like that. It's going to be obstacles. And so closing that energetic gap is changing our emotion. And like oftentimes we think we have to go back in the past and, right. you know, um, I'm this way because, X, Y, Z. <laughs> you know, such and such was mean to me. <laughs> yeah. You know, my mom was mean to me, or you know, my teacher did this to me, or right. I remember these bad boys at school. They did <laughs> such a thing, and so we get stuck on that storyline. Mm. We get stuck in the energy of that. We carry that around, right. and that's exactly what the block is. But really, we don't have to go and erase all of that stuff. We just mm. have to change our energy field by changing our emotions. I like what you said too, uh, like with the emotions. Say if, you know, for example, my emotion towards uh, being healthy um, stems from, you know, my past, right? Stems from, uh, let's say, you know, my mom not eating healthy. So now that I'm an adult, my emotion towards food is more like, you know what? I don't eat healthy. You know, I took on that same. So for me to change that emotion about my diet, I have to go back and I have to evaluate what is it that made me feel 
that way? How what what in my past or in, in my storyline made me have that emotion as to where why I feel the way that I do now? So when we get aware of it, like, you know what? Okay. Now we have the opportunity to change it. So I think awareness is one one of the things is what you were talking about to in order for us to change that emotion. And and I do I agree. I do think that um it's okay, it's nothing wrong with being right. aware. But a lot of times when you become aware then you start focusing on that energy. And so um we don't have to become aware. We can just change the emotion. Because, like, it's so many things that we don't even know why we do such Very and true. such. <laughs> and um, we don't even know that we're doing <laughs> Very true. such and such. And so um, to say that we have to dig it all up before we can move forward, that's where we've been for the past, I guess, ever since Freud. You for know. All our lives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all our lives. Um, but, yeah, probably since 1940s, that's, like, kind of, the way we think it has to be. Mm -hmm. But with us redefining common thinking, um, what we're realizing is we don't have to dig it up. We can move forward from here and now because we can just decide this is the emotion I want to have and then start practicing the emotion that you want to have. And so um, this is probably a good time to pull out that piece of paper. <laughs> because what I want you to do, we can just do one thing. Um, Think of something that you want or that you want in your life or something that you want to show up in your life. And we'll, we'll use you as an example. Okay. Stephen, you can kind of walk through the exercise. So the first thing is just to think of something that you would love to see more of in your life. You would love to show up in your life or whatever. So what is something you would love? Uh, Health-wise. Mm -hmm. you know, I really want to be in top-notch shape yeah. so uh, that's one of the things that I never had but I always wanted to have mm -hmm. so uh, that's something that I want okay and I hope you guys have identified something as well okay so now the next question that I want you to answer is why do you want this thing why do you want good health mm -hmm. well uh, good health doesn't run in my family as much so I don't want to be that individual as to where I'm um, in that exact same repeating the cycle so um, I just want to sit back and make sure that I don't put myself in that cycle so since I know what I want to start to do mm -hmm. and make it happen mm -hmm. and um, and notice what Steven said He's, he talked about what he did not want and that's typically what we do mm -hmm. we say what we don't want so I'm going to ask the same question again. I'm sure that you all say something similar. You say what you don't want. <laughs> say what you right? don't want. So it's almost like you're, you're creating from a space of fear, mm -hmm. creating from a space of lack. That's not the energy that we want to create from. We want to create from a space of abundance, from a space of knowledge, of, of surety, right. of confidence. So ask yourself the same question. Why do you want what you want? Because it makes me feel good. Mm -hmm. That's why I would want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, exactly. And so um, I don't, you know, give you all time to come up with why do you want what you want? Because a lot of times it takes a few cycles. It because does. you know, <laughs> you come up with something like you know, well, I want to save the world. I, 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 you know, yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you got so much on your mind that you want. Yeah. Right. So um, it might take you a couple of cycles, but what you want to get to is the feeling, right? So Stephen automatically jumped to, I want to feel happy. So also, what other feelings would be in healthy and fit? be for you? What would that feel like? Ah, oh, man. Energetic joy. Uh, um, just abundance. Uh, wealth. Because wealth doesn't has, have to be, you know, money. But um, I always heard that health is wealth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, just a, a lot of joy, if mm -hmm. anything. That's the main, main thing that radiates to me. It's just joy. Yeah. Yeah. And so hopefully you come up with feeling words of how would it feel to be whatever that thing is? How would it feel to be abundant? 
How would it feel to have great relationships? How would it feel to have someone adore you? How would it feel to have a house full of children running around or to go back to school? Like, what, how would it feel to have those things? Mm -hmm. And so once you, that's what I want you to write down is the feeling. So just write down all the feelings. Like, so Stephen was like joy, abundance, wealth, thrilled, enthusiastic, enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. So write down all the feelings that having this thing would bring out of you. And then once you have those feelings, that's what you want to practice every day. So start practicing feeling joyful. So um, you say joyful, abundant, wealthy. Let me see you feel those <laughs> things right now, Stephen. <laughs> just feel it. Just, I mean, you know, just smiling, radiating, just good energy. You know, I feel good now. <laughs> but... Those, that's uh, what you just said, feeling it. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the biggest, biggest step that we mm -hmm. need to do. Because um, if we, and we talked about it before, if you sit back and you already feel it and you know that you have it and you act as though you already have it before you have it, don't worry about it because it's gonna, you're going to have it. Right. <laughs> you are. You, right. You're going to have it. Right. So. As you, you, unfortunately, we don't get more of what we want. We get more of who we're being. Correct. So Correct. if we're being joyful every day, if we're being abundant every day, right. and we don't have to wait for something on the outside of us to make this thing happen, mm -hmm. um, we can practice it now. So if, um, let's say, if what you want to do is, you know, help thousands, millions of people around the world mm -hmm. or whatever, you don't have to wait until you're able to do this. You can start helping someone right now today. And, and then enjoy it, love it, um, you know, really. Feel it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just take the action to actually just start to do it. Yeah. And, and now. Feel it right there, right <laughs> now. now, today. Don't let the day pass without doing exactly what it is that you absolutely love doing. And uh, I would say, if anything, um, I, I had a friend, matter of fact, um, recently, and they wanted to start a business. And the main, what we were just talking about, he's scared to fail. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, man, but you haven't even tried yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> so go ahead and start now. Take the steps necessary to make it happen. <laughs> hey, and, and you, you don't know until you start to do it, you know, until you start to do it. Yeah, and so, like, a lot of times, um, the common thinking is that to do whatever it is you want, you have to work hard, mm. work hard, work hard, work hard. Um, but the work really is here. The work is an energetic work. The work is feeling the feeling that you want to feel. Feel it now, feel it in your body. Right. Make it so real every single day. Just feel that and like attracts like. You're gonna attract to you the very thing that you're radiating out right. from you every day. Wake up in the morning smiling. <laughs> Wake up in the morning feeling grateful. I mean, inspired. You know what it is that you want to accomplish. So um, go ahead and just like just make it happen. And like she said, just don't wait. You know, it's no time to wait. You just go ahead and just start. Yeah, and just practice it. And even if everything doesn't look great in your life, and um, maybe there are things in your life that's you know maybe have have you in a dark place. It's okay, you know, we all have different emotions and there's times when you go through things. But still carve out <laughs> a portion of your day, even if it's just five or ten minutes, where you're taking time to feel those words that you just wrote down. So, Happy New Year to you. I'm looking forward to some great things coming your way this year. So, until next time, this is Arvette. And this is Steven. We'll talk to you later. Bye.